Alrighty, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Wondershare Quiz Creator. Now, you can download a free trial. Go to wondershare.net forward slash shop. Scroll down, and you'll see it right here, Quiz Creator. Click on the Try It Free button, and that's how you download it and install it. And once you install it, this is what it looks like here. It's very easy to use. I mean, don't get... Uh, it's really easy to, to right away get a little uh, scared about it because it looks a little complicated but it's not complicated all you have to do is click up here up or uh, right here on the upper left hand corner to create a question so you click on there and you that this is how you can get started with your quiz that you're going to make you can choose multiple choice multiple response true or false fill in the blank matching sequence word bank quick map short essay so that's pretty cool let's do multiple choice and then click ok to get started and we're just going to put testing. And uh, you enter the question, and then you enter the multiple choice answers, and then you select the correct one, which one it is. All right, hit OK. And there it is. Let's do one more. Let's do uh, true or false. Actually, click on the question button on the left hand corner again. Select true or false, hit OK. And we're just going to put whatever on there. We're going to say it's true. Okay. Add as many as you want, guys. And then once you're done, you can preview it by clicking up here where it says preview. It'll bring up the quiz window, the quiz viewer. Uh, click on start. I really don't remember what the heck it was. I think it was that one. Submit. Correct. Oh, look, I got it correct. <laughs> and then we select the true. I remember. Hit submit. Correct. So there it is. We got a we got a hundred percent on that thing. Once you're ready to publish, you click up here where it says publish, and then uh, publish to my computer as a flash quiz for web, or publish as a score a ICC package, publish as autoplay exe file, or publish as a Word Excel for print. Let's just try for web. Let's see what that does. Quiz title, I'm just going to name it test. Publish for web. And we're going to save this. We're just going to put it on the desktop. And so you click on these little the three dots right here to, to select where you want to save it. We're going to hit publish. And it's published. All right, we're going to click on view the quiz so we can look at it. It should bring up the quiz. Okay, so we're going to open it with Chrome because it is a web file. And let's test it out. We've saved it as a web file, so this is what your student is going to see. So, oh, it looks like it's blocked. Let me go ahead and unblock this thing. Hold on a sec. Okay, now it's loading. And all we got is a blank screen here. So that didn't work out very well. It's just stuck on the screen here. So let's go back to the program. I'm a little disappointed about that. Let's go to publish again. Let's publish it a different way. Let's do it with Word or Excel. And we're going to hit publish. Let's see how long it takes. Depending on how fast your computer is, this might take a while. Alrighty, it's finished. Let's go ahead and click on View the Quiz. And let's see how it opens it. It's opening it up with Word. So let's see how Word does. Now it looks like it opened it up like this, but that's not going to do it. That's no, you can't even select anything here, so that's not going to do it. I recommend the. It looks like the only way we could do this is if we go up to preview. And then we select. And there it is. What I recommend you do maybe is you uh, open up the quiz like this and then minimize the program in the background. 
and then just have your just have your students then come here click start and start the and they could start the quiz this is the way I recommend you do it you open it straight from quiz viewer not from web or anywhere else because it's glitching out maybe it's just my computer let me know guys how it works with you guys if you guys try it out and one last thing there is quiz preferences I saw here and I want to take a look at them and so you could change the pres the preferences here the quiz title author introduction media you can add media to it so that's pretty cool quiz settings time limit oh yeah that's pretty cool you could set a time limit for your students quiz results sorry congratulations you passed sorry you failed question settings you could change that too and there's other stuff here too that's pretty cool i like it um except for the bugs that we encountered opening it up with web i was going to give it a four out of five but now i want to give it a three out of five stars for the review because it for some reason it's bugging out guys look at this it's still trying to load it's bugging out when you try to open up with web and of course when you open up with word it's just ridiculous i mean what are you going to do with this what are you going to do with this really so the only way to open up the quiz is to use the actual uh, quiz viewer when you, when you click on preview here. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in my next video.